Uh, my relationship with Hal started, uh, well, it started when I, I, I began to recognize people <laughs> at the age of probably four. Uh, he used to come by our house and on occasions he'd take us for a ride in his brand new Buick 8 and uh, he's have a reputation for uh, taking you fast. Well, with nothing a five-year-old like to do more yeah. than to speed around Westover Hills in his brand new Buick. We went to each other's homes a lot, uh, dad and mother. And uh, mother was uh, older than the, their their parents. Berkeley Road at Christmas time uh, was before the boys and before any of the kids occurred. Mimi was there, of course, and uh, then the kids started to come. And soon the kids came. Christmas time was always a very special time, and the reason it was obviously for Christmas of itself. But so Hal didn't have anybody to put the Christmas presents together. You know, had to screw them all together and put batteries in them and unpack them and do that. So we were always invited over Christmas Eve, okay, yeah. to put all the Christmas presents together. Yeah. So that's probably from a camaraderie point of view with kids, that's probably where it all started. Mm -hmm. And then I should mention that uh, Uncle Harry Haskell was, was a gracious man and, and he had a Christmas dinner every year that I can remember that he was alive. And, and that was a big influence on us. And, and uh, uh, it was a treat to go to his house because uh, it was a perfectly lovely uh, setting. And, and uh, of course, they had a big pie in the middle, which Lizzie did. Uh, and at this pointed hour, everybody would pull the little chain and they'd get a little gift out of that pie. So as kids, we thought that was perfectly wonderful. I'm not sure when it all began, really, because I, I don't remember not knowing how Haskell and his sister Lizzie, um, both of them, I think, treated the Denham children as um, uh, younger brothers and sisters. And the uh, relationship began that way, I think. They came to visit us. We, came, we spent time with them. Um, holidays were spent together at the farm or at Mount Salem Lane, uh, particularly Christmas lunch. Um, we just grew together as, as a, a kind of a family, doing things together. And I guess the, the, the biggest uh, similar interest was hunting. I, I was about 12, 13, and Uncle Jim would take me out hunting. Uh, I think we hunted first at the farm, probably, looking for something with uh, Uncle Jim, looking for a, there were a couple of quail around, uh, literally about two. <laughs> I don't think we ever found one, but, and, uh, but the, uh, they, then they all hunted in the south. And that's when we really got hunting. I can remember as a child going um, with my father and Uncle Jim and Daddy, Hal, and Billy to Whiteville, North Carolina, which is where we really began. <coughs> and my father and Sid Scott had a little house down there and leased a lot of property. And the, uh, the uh, quail hunting down there was spectacular. I mean, there was. Uh, we walked, we didn't ride on a horse, but it was not unusual to, to find 15 or 20 coveys. Wow. And uh, from that, I think Uncle Jim's interest grew in, in, in developing and having a place in South Carolina, which he did with um, Hal and, and, and particularly Uncle Harry, I think was instrumental in getting that put together. And then in 1932, Three, Uncle Jim bought the plantation, and Dad put me in for half. At any rate, uh, the real association started the Delta Plantation. Mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Jim and uh, my father, Bill Denham, uh, well, really Uncle Jim and Hal bought the Delta Plantation, and Uncle Jim and Daddy, my father, was they were extremely close 
consequently, we went down there every single year, uh, Thanksgiving and or Christmas, sometimes both. We, uh, we've hunted ever since together. They hunted the plantation together and all of my family went to the plantation, as you probably remember. And, uh, and then I, I was forced to sell it after Uncle Jim died. Uh, he was 10 years older than I am, or almost 10 years older than I am. And consequently, at the age of seven, when my, I first went to the Delta Plantation, he'd have been 17. And that big difference in age, I looked up to him, and many of the things that he liked to do, uh, we grew to like as well. Mm -hmm. Sailing, fishing, hunting. Uh, because their father and my mother all hunted as young people in in the South. That's how hunting got into our, both our families. But uh, it's, it's been special, and, and uh, it's a relationship that I really cherish very much. I think it's it's uh, it, it's it's what families are all about. You know, I think that's that's the, the key to it. Really, doing something they all have a common interest in and love. That's that. I, I think I would leave it right there. Oh well, there's no traction about it. The camaraderie that. Uh... Uh, has emanated out of uh, the relationship uh, is uh, unbelievable. Uh, Hal, I, I haven't mentioned this to you in so many words, but he has been more of a brother to Jimmy and I because we all like to do the very same things. And Hal, without brothers, or, he has a sister, but that relationship was not uh, athletic or was not uh, that social. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I think that uh, Hal and Jimmy and I, and now the children, all the children, okay, uh, have a deep feeling for one another. And he's been more like a brother, okay, than, uh, than a first cousin. Well, how is it to be with your best friends that are your relations as well? And uh, it's terrific. It's great. Yeah, it really is. Even at 90. Uh, and, and I think every year it's grown, and I think people start looking forward to it. Um, probably in the fall, when when our 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 thoughts change from playing golf and doing those things to hunting again, and we begin to reflect on the wonderful times we've had down here and the wonderful lies we've all told each other <laughs> about how close the turkey was or behind a tree or all those kind of wonderful experiences, and and it it has built. Uh, each and every year, I think, and, and uh, uh, it's just been a wonderful experience, and I think for all of us, not, not just for myself, but I speak for all of us who are down here. I, uh, for me, it's very refreshing, because being a city slicker, I guess you call it, uh, albeit we didn't live really in the city, uh, it gives you a, a feeling to reflect on your life, on nature, uh, it gives you, uh, I think, a better perspective of life. Uh, it's very enriching. You know what it's like when you're in the wilderness of any kind, a sort of form of it, where you're out in the, and that was, that was the, uh, uh, that was, it, it, and that's what pulls people together, and, and they have fun together, and get to know each other, where you can't do it in other circumstances. Well, I, I, I think uh, j just being out in nature, and, and, uh, and, and incidentally, there's a lot of time to do a lot of thinking, because uh, there, the turkeys aren't here every, every five seconds, you know, you might wait. Uh, um, well, I can remember the first trip I came, I never even saw a turkey, including a hen. So, but, but, uh, but I think the, the wonderful stories that everybody had to tell indicated to me that, that uh, I should probably come back. It's a time to, to uh, think about all of our lives and uh, what we've done with them, and uh, just to enjoy being out in the woods uh, with, with as few worries as possible, 
and and and, and knowing that uh, there was always excitement around the corner, possibly, and uh, uh, it, it's it, it's just a wonderful experience that, that I certainly will cherish all the rest of my life.